So you're thinking about living in Dallas, Texas? Well, before you make that move, you're going to want to consider living in one of the suburbs of Fort Worth, Texas. I'm in North Fort Worth in Alliance Town Center behind, you know, the truck yard is right behind me. There is so much activity going here. Over the past few years, this area has boomed with growth and development. There is movie theater, hotels, luxury apartments. You have things for the kids to do, things for you to do. Everything you need is right here. Oh, about a half a mile behind me is I-35 North. I-35 North is one of our major highways that will connect you with almost anywhere you want to go in our Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Now that we know the area, let's talk about the drive we're going to take today. Today, we're going to look at one of the most prominent communities in North Fort Worth. That is none other than Heritage. Heritage has seven swimming pools, acres of green belt, walking trails, bike paths, ponds. I mean, you would have to just refuse to enjoy life not to have a great time in the community of Heritage. And stick with me to the end because I'm going to share with you a little secret that the people of Heritage get to enjoy. Are you ready? If this is your first time to this channel and you want to stay in the know of what's going down around town, subscribe below, press the bell, and you'll be notified when there's anything new and exciting happening in one of our Fort Worth suburbs. I'm Tracy with Tracy Sorrell Homes. We get phone calls and emails every day from people just like you who appreciate us going around, sharing video of not just the neighborhoods, but the community, because we realize that when you buy a home, you're not just buying an address, you're buying the entire area. And we want to show you that area so you can feel the experience of living in our Dallas-Fort Worth community. Whether you're moving in nine days or nine weeks, call us, text us, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you discover which area in Dallas-Fort Worth you want to call home. Now, back to Heritage. Today, we're going to tour three neighborhoods at three different price ranges so you can get an idea of what your budget will look like if you decide to move into the heritage community. So, wrap on your seatbelt and let's take a ride. This section is Trinity. In Trinity, there are two different distinct architecture and design. The first one is the brick, brick style home. The second one is where we are, and that is the Cape Cod style. Imagine having lemonade on your front porch, just enjoying living over here. Look at this one. Isn't that a beauty? So with the Cape Cods, they've been around, you know, 2010, some 28, but they have mature trees, which is really what we love in Texas, because after all, we're in Texas and we love to have the shade. So the mature trees are a plus. Some of these homes remind you of living on the Northeast. They have a nautical design, like that blue with the yellow door, kind of gives you a nautical feel. So you might feel like you're at the lake or the beach. These homes are so unique and their color. This section of Trinity, and I'm gonna share with you, I'm gonna show you a home that's priced at 450,000 actually. So you can kind of see what you can get for your money in the 400,000 range. Now, if you don't like the Cape Cod design, you can still find a home in that price point, but I kind of want to share this section with you. So behind me, this gray home on the corner, it it's going for about 450. There's a lot of well creativity with the appearances of their home. Some of them have the really nice uh, nautical look, like this blue one. Look at this! Isn't this lovely? 
So look at that beautiful blue. It kind of gives you the nautical feel. You have the yellow door. I mean, you feel like you're at the beach. How about coming home to that? And look at the beautiful porches, drinking lemonade and just enjoying the shade of these trees. These are some great mature trees, great sidewalks. You'll see people walking in the morning or in the uh, evening because let's face it, it is Texas. So you do want to stay cool as you can. But looking around at these porches and design, most of these homes are going to have front facing two car garages. Many of them will either have a dormer or an actual second floor. So they all will appear to be two story, but they may not be. All right, let me give you a little background, a little perspective about Heritage and the size of its community. It's about 3,300 homes in the community of Heritage, and there are seven neighborhoods. Each neighborhood has a distinct architecture, design, and style. Let me see if I can name all seven neighborhoods. Let's see. So we have Trinity, which you just saw, Winnipeg, Moncree, the Bluffs, and the three sections named after the three forks of the Trinity River, and that would be Clear Fork, West Fork, and Elm Fork. Here in Clear Fork, you will notice that most of these homes have a side entry garage. And another feature about this section of Heritage is that many of these lots are quite a bit bigger than what you may find in Trinity. So Trinity, if you recall, there were smaller lots, cube cake pods, two car garages in the front. Well, these again have the side entry garage. The lots are larger, some are on a third of an acre, some are close to half of an acre. So it just depends. So looking at this home behind me, just to kind of give you a perspective of price, this one is a five bedroom, three bath. It's about 3,700 square feet, built in 2008. And it is priced at 650. It has a swimming pool. So of course being priced and sold, we don't know what it's gonna sell for, but just to give you an idea of what you might get in the clear fork section, of heritage. Taking a look around, as you can see, there are sidewalks. Well, we love our sidewalks in Texas. We also love our mature trees because it is Texas and we love to have that shade. Just like in Trinity, you'll see people walking around with their dogs or strollers or jogging, taking full advantage of our sidewalks. Now I'm outside the resort style clubhouse of heritage. Inside, there is a private gym for the community and the neighbors to enjoy, as well as fireplace. I mean, it's so large, beautiful woodwork inside. You can enjoy a bunco, uh, women's group, wine club, active seniors, toddler, reading time. There's just so many activities for you. You would actually have to work pretty hard not to have fun in this community. And with it being so large with about 3,300 homes, it's so important to have so many ways for everyone to feel connected and be a part of the community. Now, behind me, now you see the 10 acre water complex that these neighbors get to enjoy. That includes a junior Olympic pool, a splash pad and a water park. They have full lifeguards here, as well as you can order snacks while you're enjoying the pool. But let's say water, swimming pool, that's not your thing. You have your own swimming pool, that's great. Because we also have here in Heritage, sand volleyball, basketball court, tennis court, zip line in the park for the kids to enjoy. There's just so much going on right here for you in Heritage. Hope you've been enjoying your tour so far because this is our last stop in the community of Heritage. Now we're in the section named the Bluffs. 
The bluffs, there are two parts of the bluffs, basically. One part is hilltop, and that's where I am right now. You'll notice how beautifully man manicured these yards are, but frankly, you can get beautiful yards anywhere in Heritage. But what is unique about these homes is that some of them sit really high and you can have some beautiful views of the skyline. I don't know if you can see how high the hills are behind me, but they're really nice. And in this community, you have a variety of price range where you're looking at a minimum of 600,000 or so, especially if it is a five bedroom, four bath home, three car garage with nearly 5,000 square feet as the one that you see behind me. As we continue to look, I just wanna share with you, just in case somehow you have yourself game night. And for some bizarre reason, there's a trivia question. And the question is, hey, tell us where was Heritage and some of the neighborhoods in North Fort Worth, what city did it used to be a part of? Guess what? Heritage used to be a part of the city of Keller. And with that, these families still get to enjoy the acclaimed Keller ISD schools for their children, students. Most of these homes do have a three-car garage and many of them have very nice size lots. Some in fact are on nearly a half an acre and larger. Just wanna kind of show you the different styles in this area of the community of heritage. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, this well-kept secret. Now, heritage, the bluffs, just like the other parts of the community, they have walking paths, trails, ponds, things that you can enjoy with nature. The one thing that you can also enjoy is the skyline of downtown Fort Worth. Well, that concludes our tour of the neighborhood of Heritage. I wanted to share with you different neighborhoods, different architects, different designs. Heritage is one of our premier neighborhoods in North Fort Worth. Whether you're moving in nine days or nine weeks, call us, text us, send us an email. We'll be happy to help you discover which area in Dallas Fort Worth you want to call home.